Week 6 quests are in fact dropping tomorrow guys. So yes, obviously today I'm bringing you guys a complete guide to how you can go on to complete all of these quests right there and then when they drop to get yourself some easy XP to get that level 100 in Fortnite. Yo guys, what is going on? Bobbles here. Yes, that's right. Today I'm here to bring you guys a full guide on the week 6 quests. This week's challenges are definitely a lot easier than last week's, but there's still some complicated ones that you might not actually know what to do. So I'm here to bring you guys a full guide on exactly what these quests are early as well as what you have to do to get them complete as soon as they drop tomorrow. So if you go on to find this video helpful, make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you obviously subscribe to me here on the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest Fortnite news leaks and updates. And finally guys, credit code bubbles in the Fortnite item shop to help put your gal that one step further. Hashtag ad, hashtag epic partner. Thank you all in advance. And I just want to say that this amount of you guys aren't actually subscribed. So make sure you go and subscribe if you're not already. But let's get cracking straight on with the guide today. What do we have? Well, quest number one is in fact to blow up fishing holes at Sharky Shell, Sweaty Sands and Flopper Pond. So in case you don't actually know where these locations are, here is in fact a map with those locations. Sharky Shell just north to Coral Castle, Sweaty Sands, we all know where Sweaty Sands is, and Flopper Pond is actually just south to Sweaty Sands. So simply get in a motorboat or grab grenades, which aren't in arena, they're only in normal gamos just so you know and you simply just have to go up to the fishing holes at those locations and throw the grenades or shoot at them with the boat and that will in fact blow them up so that is in fact how you get that quest done you only have to do a total of three and if there's three at any particular place you can in fact do all three of them in that one location which is kind of op and pretty decent even if you want to do one at each though it's very simple you can grab a boat simply at coral and work your way down which is resulting in you going to the middle of the map as well as going past these different landmarks to get this challenge done. Easy 20,000 XP. Moving on to the next one here we do indeed have the task to destroy motorboats. You have to destroy a total of three so not too bad honestly and this doesn't specify that enemies have to be inside them meaning that you can literally just stand next to one and shoot it. You can also jump in it and build up a little bit and bring it crashing down so that obviously results in a lot of damage or you can also do an alternative of getting two motorboats together and shooting at one with the explosive. That will blow it up and probably deals a lot of damage rather than just using your gun. Either way though, you can even use a pickaxe. All you've got to do is shoot at it and it will actually get destroyed. So really not too difficult. Another pro tip for this is actually to use the gas cans because gas cans, you can throw it on the boat and blow it up pretty damn decent way of doing it. Next up though, we do indeed have another blowing up thing to do and it is in fact to blow up fishing holes at Lazy Lake Island, Lake Canoe and near Steamy Stacks. So very similar to the first one except you have to go to these different places for this one to get this challenge done. Blowing up a fishing hole really isn't too difficult. We've already explained how you actually have to do it. So here is a map of those three locations just in case you don't know where they are and yeah, that's basically it. So we'll move on to the next challenge which is indeed to catch fish. This you have to do a total of seven times. Again, really not too bad. If you play an arena, you should be doing this anyway because fish this season are OP, especially with the roof fish in the game. But if not, use a harpoon will be the quickest method of doing this. However, using a harpoon also does sometimes pull out items like weapons. So obviously be aware of that. That will not count for this. Using just a standard fishing rod is also pretty beneficial because even if you run out of fishing holes and you still got more fish to do, you can catch small fry with a fishing rod. So that's honestly a pretty good tip to note. But honestly, it just lands somewhere which has a fishing rod, pick it up and go over to some water and you'll be able to do this challenge. So move on to the next one, it is indeed signal the coral buddies. Now this might actually change the exact location of what it is, but currently it is said to be this area right here. As you can see, the coral buddy is kind of sitting on the edge at Coral Castle, so you can simply land there, interact with it and that is challenge done. Also, if you press tab and hover over the challenge, it should give you a rough area on the mini map in which you will have to go to find it. Moving on to the next challenge is indeed to destroy boats. You have to do this a total of seven times and this one is actually different to the motorboats. There is in fact some boats literally scattered around the map which literally you can break down for builds. For this one I highly recommend actually going to Craggy Cliffs, that's my personal favourite POI on the map and there are so many boats at the dock there that you can break to get this challenge done. There's also some boats just scattered around the waterline though so just keep your eyes peeled and you should find them and you can actually do this in separate matches. So even 
even if you just land at Craggy two games in a row, you should be able to get the seven done. But remember, it's not motor boats, it's a different challenge. It's just boats in general. Moving on to the next quest, it is indeed to destroy fishing rod barrels. Again, Craggy Cliffs is the place to go for this one. There's so many at Craggy, you have to do a total of seven. So again, you might have to go there a couple of games in a row to get it done. But you should be able to get it done in no time. There is loads. We all know what they look like. The brown barrels with fishing rods hanging out. There's nothing more I can really explain about them to give you guys advice on that. Just find them and break them and you'll get it done. So now moving on to our legendary quest. What we all know is in fact the party assisted quest. It is in fact to get headshots. For the first 55,000 XP you simply have to get 20 headshots. Which really isn't bad. It's not headshot eliminations. It's just tags with headshots. So pretty decent. And then it goes up to the there's five different stages. You've got 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100 headshots. Each one after the first 55,000 XP is saying that it's giving you 55,000 XP, but over the course of the week, it has actually just been 22,000, I do believe. So obviously, again, that might just be a current bug in the game, and it most likely is probably just going to give you 20 odd thousand for the next stages after the first one. But guys, that is indeed it for today's video. That is, in fact, all of the week six quests that are dropping tomorrow. Like I said earlier, if you found this video useful smash a like on the video obviously subscribe to me here on the channel to stay up to date with all of the latest fortnite news leaks and updates and guide videos like this one make sure you are indeed using someone's creator code in the fortnite item shop and if you do indeed want to help support you girls it is indeed code bubbles hashtag out hashtag every part i thank you all in advance i hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and until next time guys see ya